Chastity, I think, helps us have proper relationships, and not just proper, but happy and healthy relationships with each other. And that's the case for women and men. Jacob, of course, is going to talk at length about what the men are doing wrong here. But, you know, 18 years single in the church gave me a lot of time to kind of think about what does that look like for me. Mm -hmm. so. Well, can we go in and talk about some of the things? Like what is yeah. going on and what are they doing? And why is it such a burden, as Jacob says in verse 23, to talk about these things? I think it's possible we can kind of see these, oh, here's a verse about chastity, and we can see that they're maybe not doing what they need to here. But there's a larger argument that he seems to be making. And so we can find that if we see uh, he's talking about, you say this is okay because you've watched David and Solomon do it. But then in verse 25, he says, I've led this people forth out of the land of Jerusalem by the power of mine arm, that I might raise up a righteous branch from the fruit of the loins of Joseph. And so it seems like he's saying, we left Jerusalem and I'm looking for something different to happen with this particular branch of Joseph. And if we think about what is happening, what, what might be the inheritance between Judah and Joseph? Judah, we, we have a story in, in Genesis 38 that he is not taking care of his daughter-in-law Tamar. He's not being morally appropriate and he's not taking care of the women as he's supposed to do as the head of his family. And then the very next chapter in Genesis, chapter 39, is about Joseph mm. with uh, Potiphar's wife and how he says, I cannot do this sin before God. And he, and he runs away from the temptation. And so that happens. And then it seems like that may be part of what Jacob is, is tapping into. And he says that the Lord doesn't want this people to be doing that. In fact, in 31, he says, I've seen the sorrow and heard the mourning of the daughters of my people in the land of Jerusalem and all the lands of my people because of the wickedness and abominations of their husbands. So if there's this inheritance that sometimes there's a tradition of not treating women well, this people has been pulled out of Jerusalem specifically so they could do it differently. And we can even see this in verse 34. He says, behold, my brethren, you know these commandments were given to our father Lehi. So it sounds as if this is something that Lehi was teaching since they came out of the land. Wherefore, ye have known them before. And you come under great condemnation because you haven't done the things that you should have done. And so it sounds as though this commandment to have better relationships with the husbands and wives is something that has been preached from the beginning of Lehi and Sarai's family. And this is part of what Jacob is invoking when he says, we need to change this. This is not what you were pulled out of Jerusalem to do. 